Sometimes in this hobby it's very hard to find what you would class as a real bargain, but I think this might just be it. In one 30 second scale, Special Hobby have just released an AH1G Huey Cobra, early tale of the Vietnam era. This kit is basically the ICM plastic that has been seriously upgraded. We have got lots of resin, photo etch, masks added into what is already a superb kit. The ICM kit has been available for some time, but I'm not going to cover that. The plastic is unchanged, finely engraved and raised rivet detail, adequately detailed internally out of the box, though other upgrades are slowly becoming available specifically from Edward. Well, let's have a look at the extra parts that are supplied with this kit, which aren't in the ICM version. We'll start with etch brass. Here we have uh, cockpit details like the instrument panels and the straps. All of these are pre-painted and pre-finished. Uh, to the right you have brass intake screens, which are an improvement over the kit part, as well as details for the inside of the canopy and shields that fit over the top of the rocket pods, again providing more detail than actually supplied in the kit. Uh, those last bits with the rocket pods will actually be combined with some uh, resin parts a bit later. Next, this small well-protected box. Uh, this is the first time I've seen 3D printed parts included as standard in a kit, uh, all but as an, ex an extra. Uh, but these 3D parts are very, very well detailed. They just need to be removed from their poor attachment points. These 3D parts are mainly used in detailing the cockpit. Uh, there are a few different areas that are replaced here. Uh, mostly you get things like uh, con new control levers, throttles, collective levers, as well as the distinctive gun sight uh, that is an obvious improvement over what is supplied in the kit. I say preparation of these should be quite simple. It literally is just a case of using some sprue cutters to cut them away from their runners and then a sanding stick to remove any remains of the stub. Now nearly all of these 31 parts that you see here are just the traditional cast resin and they provide extra detail over what was supplied on the injection moulded plastic. Now don't get me wrong the injection moulded plastic was not bad these are just better. Uh, also includes side armour uh, I mean the seats are just wonderful they really look like an upgrade over the kit parts especially once dressed with the previously seen etch brass seat belts. Okay, I'm going to have to be a little bit vague here because I'm not honestly sure what I'm looking at. But here we go, rocket pods. The ICM kit did give you a choice of rocket pods, gun pods. Um, here we have an extra set of rocket pods. They do not appear on the original ICM sprue. Uh, they're larger, uh, not with all the tubes exposed, and they are super detailed with etched brass uh, that we saw previously. Uh, adding also to the teeth, at the front we have the minigun and grenade launcher. Uh, the grenade launchers have hollowed out barrels. Unfortunately the miniguns don't, but realistically in this scale um, it, that would be a great challenge in resin. But I'm sure we will see um, metal ones from Master at some point. And still more resin parts. Uh, here we have uh, four wheels. Uh, these fit onto the... Um, moving trolley which is included in the uh, kit um, they are far better than the plastic ones the hub detail is really sublime now down at the bottom we have another nice addition two Vietnam era flight helmets and these are actually added to because on the etched brass sheet you have the stalk microphones uh, to add to them so a really welcome addition perfect if you want to just pose these on the seats in the aircraft uh, just to make or on the canopy rail just to make it look a little bit different Another set of extras, uh, that is actually quite important on the Cobra. The Cobra has a very large, super clear canopy, so you don't want wobbly frame lines. Um, though it's not exactly obvious, what you have here are internal and external canopy masks. Now, Special Hobby actually sell these separately for around £7 in the United Kingdom, and they are well worth having. They are not the same as the Edward masks, which are made of a slightly different material, but I've had experience with these uh, special hobby masks before and they do work very well. 
New decal sheet with this kit, including a shark mouth. Something that ICM missed with their early version and a bit surprised by that because I think a shark mouth on a Cobra is just a must have. But you have four marking options, all of which are quite attractive in their own way and stand out. So let's have a look at those on the instruction sheet. Okay, the first two options on the decal sheet. Uh, these are pretty standard. I'll say you would at first think in they, they're just green. But the option on the right has got rather interesting history. It was used during the invasion of Cambodia by the United States. Uh, to disguise their involvement, they actually painted out all the markings in black. So nearly the whole tail boom and its rudder is black, uh, which certainly makes for a different looking cobra. The other two options, well, you have a colourful, or not so much colourful as multicoloured cobra. Uh, this is one of the early Cobras that went across with the new equipment training team when the Cobra first went to Vietnam and again rapidly was overpainted in just standard olive drab but these early ones do make it stand out. To the right we have probably my favourite option, a Cobra with shark's teeth. I'm very surprised this wasn't included on the ICM kit. Uh, the shark mouth marking actually did become uh, more common on the later variants than these early ones but it did exist and here we have an example of it. So there we have it, Special Hobbies AH1G Cobra Early Tales Over Nam. This has taken a basic good 2021 tooling kit, added detail that you wouldn't believe possible just a few years ago. 44 cast resin parts, 9 3D parts, one set of masks, three sets of piece etched brass including a pre-coloured spread and an extra decal sheet with one of the most desirable options on it of a shark's mouth early model Cobra. Okay let's add this little lot up together. Uh, the resin parts probably £20 worth I would say. Uh, set of masks £6, £7 on the website currently that's available. Uh, the Edward a basic zoom set about £8. Do the math. How much more do you think this costs than the ICM kit on its own. Okay, that's the teaser. I'm sure most of you are coming up with a figure of 30 or 40 pounds more than the standard ICM kit. So you'll be very surprised to know the answer is one pound. Just one pound more for all of this. This has got to be one of the bargains of the year, decade, century. It is a wonderful kit. Okay, so we've had a look at the ICM slash Special Hobby Cobra with all its bits. So why are we looking at a cover of Phoenix Aviation Modelling? Uh, this is the concept issue that we had on sale at Telford. Um, well, might be worth a, few, a bit of money in a few years' time because we are actually branding this now as the concept issue, not issue one as it says on the cover. Uh, we are actually restarting when we go into bookshelf at the end of January 2022 with a new issue one. This one will still be available for sale on the website and is in currently we have a few left in stock so it's still in quite good supply. We are actually thinking about maybe doing a reprint of it. But anyway, so we're moving on with this title. But the reason why we've got it here is that in this we have a build by Floyd Werner of the ICM version of the uh, Cobra. And in there he does actually pull out some details which could be improved, all of which have been addressed by this new special hobby kit. So those who haven't met Floyd, uh, he's quite well known. Uh, he owns a company called Werner Wings. He produces everything you could possibly imagine for helicopters. And he does have a long-term love affair with the Cobra. Uh, he flew the Cobras operationally and uh, had many years on them before transitioning to RH-58s and then laterally to the police department as a helicopter pilot for the police in America. Uh, he currently, as a hobby, flies a restored AH-1F Cobra and is a qualified test pilot on the type. So he knows Cobras. His article is illuminating. It gives you lots of hints and tips. It covers six pages, so it's quite well detailed. As you can see, quite a few photographs. He did do a lovely, lovely job on this AH-1G. And it is highly recommended. This magazine can still be purchased from our website at www.phoenixscalepublications.co.uk. 
that is a bit of a mouthful. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for joining me.